Hi, I'm Steve Shear from the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm here to introduce you to Tom Lloyd, who's from the Johns Hopkins University. In addition to being selected for a special presentation that we're now doing, it's important to note that he also won the Wolf Prize for Neuropathy Research today. Why don't you tell us something about yourself? All right, thank you very much, Steve. So, uh, I am an uh, assistant professor in uh, neurology and neuroscience at Johns Hopkins. So I uh, mostly focus clinically in uh, uh, neuromuscular uh, disorders, uh, in particular inherited neuropathies. And uh, in my lab, I'm interested in uh, looking at, uh, at fruit fly models of uh, neuromuscular diseases. So the poster that you have selected, that we've selected for this year's presentation, do you want to tell us about the background of that? Sure. So, uh, what I've been uh, interested in are these uh, mutations that affect a uh, motor protein subunit, which is present in, uh, in all neurons. And what is uh, extremely interesting is that mutations in the same domain of the same protein uh, actually cause two very different neurodegenerative diseases. So uh, one that affects motor neurons and uh, another that is, is more like Parkinson's disease. And so what, what we've been interested in is, uh, is, trying, is trying to understand why that is. And your studies on these two diseases, how did, how did you do that? So uh, what we did is uh, introduce these uh, mutations into uh, Drosophila and um, looked at their, their phenotype uh, using a number of different assays. And uh, what we found is that this motor complex, uh, which has long been, uh, been known to be uh, essential in, uh, in retrograde axonal transport uh, in all neurons and is highly conserved from, from man uh, down into simple uh, uh, organisms such as, as fruit flies. So this subunit, uh, in addition to be, uh, 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 in addition to being required for uh, retrograde transport along the axon, is uh, also essential for the uh, initiation of, of retrograde transport at the distal most uh, end of axons uh, at the synaptic terminal. And what was interesting is that the uh, mutations which cause the uh, motor neuron disease uh, will, will specifically uh, disrupt that function and not uh, transport along the axon, uh, whereas we don't see that, uh, that same phenotype in, in mutations which cause this other uh, neurodegenerative disease known as Perry syndrome. So that's interesting. So we've known that retrograde axonal transport has been implicated for a long time in a variety of neuropathies and maybe even some kinds of hereditary spastic paraparesis, but now this is a, a, an exact molecular demonstration of the precise defect in one of those disorders. So what about the Perry syndrome? Was there anything wrong that you, in your studies with that? So uh, we're uh, uh, working on that. That's our, our next step is uh, it, it's really trying to figure out uh, what it is about these other uh, mutations. Um, one, one interesting thing is that uh, another group at, at Penn, uh, Erica Holtzbauer, has uh, actually confirmed this, uh, this finding in uh, mammalian neurons uh, independently. And they actually suggest that the mutations uh, will, will differentially affect uh, uh, transport along axons. In the findings that you have from your fly model, are there any sort of implications that you've come up with about how that might lend itself to a therapeutic strategy, knowing what you found? So, uh, since exonal transport is it, thought to be generally disrupted in a lot of different uh, neurodegenerative diseases, uh, our, uh, our findings, I think, uh, really uh, uh, suggest that in addition to, to simply uh, looking at transport uh, along axons, that uh, in these different diseases, uh, one must also look at how uh, 
the initial steps of, uh, of, of, of retrograde transport are uh, affected in different diseases. So you have any plans on anything to do next? Well, we are, uh, one, one interesting finding is that uh, uh, in addition to this uh, defect in axonal transport, uh, we also see a, a very severe defect in uh, actually synaptic physiology. And so uh, what we're doing now is, is looking at how these mutations affect the uh, 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 actual distribution of, of vesicles at synaptic terminals and uh, how a disruption of retrograde transport uh, actually leads to an, uh, an alteration of, of neurotransmitter release. It's wonderful. So I think that this is a great breakthrough for science that we have a, a model and even a whole animal model of a human disease whose molecular pathogenesis has been now described in some detail and for those people and perhaps for many other conditions that are of a similar nature, we can look forward to more investigations towards the treatment.